The Supreme Court has ruled against Tucson. They say it does not have the right to ignore state law when it comes to confiscated guns and what they do with them. Now, your science Jennifer Martinez spoke with the Tucson Councilman. I'm really disappointed that the legislature did a complete dodge on the constitutionality question involved in this. Strong words from Councilman Steve Kozacic after the Arizona Supreme Court voted against the city of Tucson, saying the city doesn't have the right to ignore state law when it comes to confiscated guns or anything else. It's a violation of our charter authority. It steps all over home rule. It is hypocritical from the standpoint of civil liberties. The city argued that because it has a charter, basically a local constitution, state lawmakers cannot micromanage or overturn city laws. But the state Supreme Court decided to not touch that issue, so that leaves the state law in effect that lets the state intervene in city affairs. The ruling can affect Tucson and 18 other cities in Arizona. Kazachik says the state should not decide what's best for Tucson constituents. If you bring your gun into the city of Tucson and say, I don't want this around anymore, I want it out of circulation, it's my personal property, the state is effectively saying, we don't care what you do with your personal property, we're going to force the city to be the state's arms dealer and sell it back into circulation. In a statement, Attorney General Mark Burnovich says the ruling makes it clear that cities cannot ignore state law, going on to say that Arizonans have entrusted me to enforce the law and I intend to uphold their trust. What? He has lost the trust of people all over this jurisdiction by saying, we the state don't care what you think. We asked Kazachik if the city would fight back. He thinks